So I wanted to add this one in here because I want to talk about one of the things when we're talking about writing advertising. So you're going to have a lot of great people talking to you about how to use these platforms. But I do want to add this because this is something that was powerful, that was given to me, that made me understand the power of online marketing and how to say things in a way that makes more sense to people online so they want to purchase something. And that's the difference between features and benefits. So I'm going to say that. Features and benefits. Now, a lot of people may not know these are not the same things, or they may not understand the way the language is presented, but I'm going to talk about this really quickly so you can understand this. So when you're writing your advertising copy, or you're writing sales letters, or you're writing marketing campaigns or marketing material for people, you'll understand how to make it relatable to them. One of the biggest problems I see in marketing is people are too focused on themselves, right? They lack empathy. So they're like, my product is great, and this is why our company is great. But I'll tell you, I'm going to be honest, very blunt with you. Nobody gives a shit about your company. People only care about your company once they understand what your company can do for them. Write that down. Actually, tattoo that on your forehead because that is one of the biggest things I see people missing. Nobody cares about your company until they understand what your company can do for them. I mean, think about it. Even taking a program like this, I'm pretty sure you're thinking, okay, this is going to help me with my business, right? But let's say I'm advertising to you and I say, well, look, you know, my program's just great. Well, of course I'm going to say that about my program because it's my program. So when we understand how to be more empathetic to the customer and we're thinking about their benefits first and what's in it for them, then we'll understand how to make marketing that's more powerful and more effective. Remember what I said, emotion creates emotion. So let's talk about the difference between features and benefits. And the best way I know to illustrate this is using very technical things like, say, computers or TV screens, right, or televisions. Okay, so a feature is basically the facts of what a product has. Okay, if we're talking about a camera, it has 16.9 megapixels. If we're talking about a computer, it has a 30-inch screen or a TV. It has a 65-inch display. It's an OLED display. It's an LCD monitor, right? These are features of the product, just basically what it is. If we're talking about a camera, camera, for example, we might say it has autofocus. These are the features of the camera. But let's say you're a person who doesn't understand what any of this stuff I just said was. And maybe you do, but just bear with me and you'll understand where I'm going with this. Well, how would I explain that to what's the benefit to the customer? And we're starting to see the different features and benefits emerging. Okay, let's go back through it. So let's say 28 megapixel camera. What is the benefit to the consumer on that? Well, we could say it's going to give you razor sharp photos to capture all those timeless moments in your life. That is a benefit. So the feature would be the megapixel camera, but the benefit of that feature would be that you're gonna get those razor sharp pictures to capture those timeless moments. Let's talk about a 65 inch screen, right? So you could have a 65 inch screen, right? 4K display, OLED display, but if you don't understand what any of that means, what does that mean for you as the customer? You're gonna have a beautiful bright display so you can capture every moment of the game on Sundays. You see, these type of things, when the end user or the consumer is thinking about your product, they're saying, oh, while I don't understand what a 4K display is, or I don't understand what OLED is, I do understand that it's going to give me that crystal clear picture quality so I can watch the game in stunning high definition and see it in a way that I've never seen it before. So this is how we have to think about writing all of our ad copy. We have to think about listing out the features and then transferring those features into benefits. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take out a sheet of paper and I want you to take your product or your service and think about what are all the features of your product and service. So even if you have a service, let's say you're running a digital advertising agency, right? Some of the features you might have is that you run people's ad campaigns, you do branding, marketing, logos. But then I want you to take those same features and think about what is the benefit to the end customer, consumer, or client that they get from actually having that feature. And then when you're writing your advertising, whether it's a Facebook ad, a Google ad, I want you to take that and transfer them into benefits because benefits are what sell. This amazing thing I heard when, it was, when I was learning how to write advertising copy, they said this, that people don't buy the logical side of it. They buy the claims you make. So I'm gonna say something outrageous, but you'll understand what I'm saying. So you use things in proof to back up those claims. So if I said, hey, this would make you a million dollars in 40 seconds, right? And of course, that's a ridiculous claim. But when you heard that, you might want that claim, but the next thing you would look for is proof to back up that claim. And if I somehow had some magic program that could back up that claim, well, you would like, well, here's the proof. I'm going to buy this program because there's proof to back up this claim. 
So think of features and benefits like that. It's, it's the, the features are just the logical side that backs up the claim you make, which is the benefit. And when you have the benefits down, the things that emotionally make people want to buy. Remember, what's in it for them? Emotion creates emotion. You see this coming back again and again, this theme of emotion laced into your marketing. Then you'll understand how to make people buy stuff and click on ads and click on advertising because out of all the bland people who are putting stuff out, your stuff is going to be way more compelling. On to the next one.